Hey everybody, it's Suzanne A. Wells and it's time for another edition of Money Making Mondays. Now if you are new to this series, um, let me tell you a little bit about these finds I'm going to be showing you. All of these items are actual verified sales. There's a lot on YouTube right now of uh, people showing their hauls, what they bought, how many carts they can fill up, the volume of items they're buying, and that doesn't really help you learn what to sell. So what I'm going to show you here are items that are actually findable, except for a couple super amazing scores, um, but that you can actually find out there and resell and make some money on. So no matter who you are, if you're a college student or just a young person with multiple jobs looking to make some extra money, baby boomer or retired and you've got a house full of items all ready to sell, or just a busy family, everybody's going a different direction but you've got lots of kids outgrowing toys and clothes that you can resell, anybody can make money doing this. All you need is the desire to succeed. So let's go through this week's finds. Okay, Kimberly found this really cool mug. This is Fiesta Wear made by the Homer Laughlin Company. And it looks like it might have been a souvenir because it says American Museum of Natural History. So any of these specialty items that could be souvenirs, they still sell. And she got $29.98 for this item, paid a dollar for it. So that is an excellent flip. This is the award-winning sale of the week in my group. Um, Sue found this doll for three dollars and it was not perfect. It had several things going on with it but she named all of them in the listing. Uh, the clothes weren't perfect, the string wasn't attached, um, a couple things like that. It still sold for nine hundred and thirty one dollars and seventy cents. Uh, she says the best single item score of my life. Uh, definitely can't argue with that. Um, so Vintage dolls, no matter how creepy they look, uh, can be really collectible, even just the clothes. If the doll itself doesn't look too hot, but the person is selling it with the clothes, um, check that out because just the doll clothes can sell pretty well on their own. Okay, we've got Mark again. He is a repeat offender. Every week he's got some cool stuff to share. Uh, these wicker paper plate holders, I remember having these growing up and uh, you know the neighbors the rich neighbors in our neighborhood they had chinette they could actually throw it away but we had these paper plate holders where we had the little cheap paper plates on top of them and that's what our family used being frugal anyway he paid uh, 250 for these at a yard sale and sold them for $35 he had two lots and the same buyer bought both of them so a total of $70 for these wicker paper plate holders um, I haven't seen these in a long time, but I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for these at yard sales and estate sales. Okay, we've got Jen, my friend up in New Jersey. She's always finding cool stuff to sell. She paid $1 for this vintage Tupperware measuring batter and bowl. It also has a lid on it. I've got one of these for sale too. Um, these you see all the time and they may even be a little bit yellowed. I'm not sure if her picture is just yellowed there or if the actual item is a little bit yellowed over time, but these will still sell. So uh, they're really cheap, uh, inexpensive to mail because they're so light. So look for these at estate sales, yard sales, because uh, they still sell really well and a great profit on that. Okay, Miriam, she found this calculator, Texas Instruments Graphing Calculator, for $5 because she had seen us talking about this in my Facebook group. And she sold it for $35. Used calculators, especially these graphing ones, are great sellers. I think these are about $75 new. Both of my kids who are now both graduated from high school had to have these, and they were not cheap. Um, actually my daughter who is now 20 just sold hers and she sold it on eBay and the buyer was something like Math Depot or Math Warehouse and apparently this buyer that's all he does is buy calculators and then resell them maybe on a campus somewhere or on a different eBay ID or something like that but you can definitely get good money for these so um, look for these and now this video is being made July 23rd 2014 we're just about to get into back to school so if you've got these get them listed because back to school and they will need these calculators 
Okay, Mark sold these uh, jeans, paid $6 total for a lot of three pairs of blue jeans. And what he's saying here is that they're kind of low-end brands. They're Wrangler, um, Arizona, Rustler, those types of brands that aren't super high-end designer. But he lauded them together and sold all three for $36. So uh, these lower-end brands are everywhere. Thrift stores are flooded with the, these brands. So if you can get them cheap enough, and that's the, the key, is you've got to get your price down. Get them cheap enough so that when you lot them together, you're going to make a profit. Okay, Amy paid a dollar for this OtterBox iPad cover. I didn't even know OtterBox made iPad covers, so that, that's amazing there. Sold for $31. Let me caution you on anything OtterBox. They do, uh, there are fakes out there, uh, made in China, and they're faked. So go on YouTube, look up some videos of how to identify fake OtterBoxes, because the people having the, selling them may not know they're fake, and when you go to sell them on eBay, you can get in trouble if it's not authentic. So do your homework on that and understand uh, what the hallmarks are, what to look for to determine if it's real or fake. Okay, and this is me. Um, I got this framed cross stitch piece. It has glass on it and everything for 60 cents at a thrift store and it sold for $25 on best offer. Uh, back in the day before I became an internet junkie, I used to do all this cross stitch stuff and I think I made one just like that and probably sold it at my garage sale for a dollar. But um, this stuff is out there and um, it sells great. If you find something like this framed and the frame is broken or the glass is cracked and it's cheap enough, you can take the, the cloth piece out of it with the needlework on it and just sell the piece and then the customer can reframe it or do whatever they want to with it. So uh, keep your eye out for this stuff because uh, it's a little hidden treasure. Uh, thrift stores don't mark this stuff up very high because they don't know it's worth anything. Okay, so here's a review of this week's uh, real world examples. Souvenirs sell. Vintage dolls, even creepy ones, are highly desired by collectors. Wicker is back. Tupperware never went out of style. Used calculators are perfect for poor college students. Bundle your lower end clothing brands in lots for higher profit. Be aware of fake OtterBox items. And finished needlework pieces are hidden gems in thrift stores and at yard sales. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. And I've got my playlist organized so you can pick the topic you want to learn about and just listen to a whole bunch of videos while you're working or while you're driving. Um, so I'm trying to uh, do one to two a week to get caught up here and get some great information out there to help you with your business. If you've got a find to share, you can email me at Suzanne at SuzanneAWells.com comment on this video or share in my Facebook group which is called stay at home mom selling on eBay we now have over 15,000 members and everybody's sharing information and we're all just learning from each other about what to sell so thank you to this week's contributors keep posting those great scores on money making Mondays in the Facebook group thanks a lot for watching and have a great day on eBay bye